Hi, this is Valerie Getch. It's nice to be able to view your image information at a glance without having to go through a bunch of steps. Lightroom makes it pretty easy to choose what information you see, and this is especially valuable when you're working in the grid view of the library module. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the information that can be overlaid on your thumbnails in grid view. We're in the grid view in the library module, and you can see the cells currently show information like file name, star rating, and badges. These are called cell extras. If you press the J key on your keyboard, you can toggle through the various states from some information as shown here in the compact cell to more information in the expanded cell, or hit J again for no information. Lightroom gives you a lot of flexibility in what kind of information is overlaid on your images. It's easy to change it. To do so, just press Control J on your keyboard and it will bring up a dialog box, the library view options. Make sure that you're in the grid view tab at the top and I'll walk you through the various options. The first one is the show grid extras. The grid extras are what you see here. So when you have that checked, you will see them. And if you uncheck it, of course you won't see them. And you'll also notice that the various options are grayed out, so in order to make any changes to these, you do need to be in the Show Grid Extras mode. And over here, this is indicating that we're looking at the compact cells. And then the other option would be Expanded Cells. So your first option here is Show Clickable Items on Mouse Over Only. Clickable items could include image rotation, star rating, flags, and color label. And you can choose to have them displayed all the time or only when your mouse hovers over the cell. So right now, for instance, see this? This is the rotation tool. And if I click this, it disappears. But if I hover my mouse cursor over it, it appears again. So I'm just going to leave that unchecked for right now. The next one down is Tint Grid Cells with Color Labels. So first let's um, tint one of these cells. So I'm going to pick this one here and I'm going to use this little, you can barely see it because there's a little, little tiny gray bar and I'm going to color this label green. Okay, so now you can see this. When I have this checked, it shows. When I uncheck it, it's gone. So I'm going to check it again, and then you have some options here for the strength of the color. The default is 20%, but you can adjust the strength of the color all the way up to 50%. So I'm going to leave it at the default, the way it is. The next box down is Show Image Info Tooltips. If you have this checked, you can hover over a thumbnail and it will give you information such as file name, shutter speed, and other exposure information. I'm going to check that box because it's kind of handy. Next on down is cell icons. Cell icons include flags and you can check or uncheck this box to specify whether you want an image's flag status to show. There are two main statuses, either flagged rejected, well actually three, or not flagged. So this image is flagged. So if I uncheck that box, you see that the flag disappears. Next down is thumbnail badges. These are the little icons that appear in the lower right corner of your image. You can choose to show whether your photo has the keywords, whether it's been edited, cropped, has uh, GPS data attached to it, and so forth. So you can either, if you have that checked, your information is going to show. If you uncheck it, it disappears. And another little trick is if you go and click on one of these little badges, you can use it as a shortcut. So when I click on this little keyword badge, double click, over here the keyword tags box opens up. Next over is unsaved metadata. Metadata is usually saved automatically in Lightroom's catalog, but it can also be saved in a separate file. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail about that now. It's best for another tutorial. But if you check this box, it will show an icon like a down arrow on images to indicate that there is metadata that has changed but not been saved yet. Next is quick collection markers. 
You can quickly select a group of images, say to send to someone or for a slideshow and so forth, by creating a quick collection, which is a temporary grouping. And you can show or hide this little icon here, this little gray circle, by using this checkbox here. So this image, these images are part of a quick collection, and when I uncheck that box, you see that that little designation disappears. Next down is the compact cell extras. You can show the index number, which is the cell number, and the rotation. You can also specify what you want to show in the top label, including information such as file name, aperture, crop dimensions, and I'll show you more with this drop-down list. You have a number of options you can choose from, exposure and ISO, focal length, etc but you can only choose one of them. And then for bottom label, currently we have rating and label. That's the star rating and the color label selected. But again, you can choose from the same drop-down list and choose other options. Now, for expanded cell extras, if I click J again, you see now we're into expanded cell extras. And here you get two additional bits of information that you can have on your cells compared to the compact cell extras. See up here you just have these two options, but in an expanded cell extras you get two extra options. So using the same drop down list you can choose your options as you wish. Now finally we come to show rating footer. And this is currently checked, and you can see the star rating, the color label, and the image rotation tools appearing at the bottom. So you can choose to have this information appear or not appear. So those are the various customization options you have for the grid view. So as I showed you, there's quite a bit of information about your images that you can choose to see in grid view, and customizing what you see is quite easy. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to set up loop view to overlay information. Lightroom offers you lots of ways to personalize your work environment to suit you best, which is one of the many reasons I love this software. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.